Hey, so what we're going to do this morning is we are going to call a huge Titans fan. Uh, Ron happens to be a Ohio State fan, alum, so he gets the first call. Let's see. Hey, Ron. Hello. Is Ron there? This is Ron. Hey, Ron, this is Coach Vrabel from the Titans. How are you, man? Coach, I'm really pleased to hear your, your voice. I'm doing great. Well, you sound great. They said you're, uh, how old are you? You said you're in the late 80s? 87. <laughs> I tell you what, you sound pretty darn good to be 87. Well, thank you. So, are you playing soft? Are you playing soft? Eddie play and saw Hopalong Cassidy play. Yeah, I tell you what, man, you saw a lot of good Buckeyes go through Ohio State in your time. Well, we've had a lot of good Buckeyes. How are you doing? We're doing great. I'm doing great. I just wanted to call and check in on you, make sure uh, you're doing okay, and see how you're feeling. I appreciate that. I'm feeling good. I've had a dry cough for two and a half months. It has nothing to do with coronavirus. But... Uh, I'm doing great. I lost my wife in September, and uh, we came down to see you and Kerry Coombs and so forth when we had that Ohio State alumni yep. uh, deal with you guys over at the stadium. Yeah, we raised a lot. We raised a lot of money for the um, for the scholarship fund for Middle Tennessee for Ohio State. Uh, that, yeah, you did. That was really, really great. So what, um, first of all, um, you know, I'm sorry to hear about your wife. Did you, uh, was she a Buckeye fan and a Titans fan too? Yeah, yep, both met her there. You met her at Ohio met State? Her. Yep. Love it. Sounds like, uh, sounds like Jen and I. I don't know if I'm going to make it to 87, but uh, I met Jen at Ohio <laughs> State too. She, she doesn't have any choice. She has to be a Titans fan too. Well, when my daughter was down there, she she mentioned to you that you were very very smart because you married a volleyball player, also. Yep. <laughs> and I tell you what, where did you grow up in Ohio? Well, I grew up in Canton, but we don't hold that against me. I used to play in the playground where they built a Hall of Fame. Right there behind Ken McKinley, huh? Yeah. Well, right behind the stadium. Yeah. Yep. Right behind the stadium. They, that uh, that stadium. Have you seen it since they've uh, remodeled it? I have not. I haven't been back there for quite a while. Well, I think Mr. Benson, before he passed away, gave a lot of money to it, and they renamed it uh, in his name. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. They've got a new stands, new stadium, new turf. Um, it looks really, really wow. nice. <clears throat> wow. And I think, and I don't quote, I know the Cowboys are playing. I think the Cowboys and Steelers might be playing uh, this year in the Hall of Fame game. Oh, really? Yep. They must have expanded the stands because when we were going to school there, it was only 17,000, which was pretty big at that time. Yeah, for high school, that's, I think they yeah. actually do, I think they played a state championship there a little bit in uh, in football too. So, you know, we're trying to stay busy. You know, we're, I don't think we're going to be, um, you know, we're going to be working remotely. Um, we're going to be concentrating on this draft right now. We signed a few free agents, um, got some of our guys back. So, um, we're on to the draft now. You got any suggestions other than take a bunch of Ohio State players? <laughs> I suggested that the last time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you wanted last. Quit hiring coaches from Ohio State. Get players. I want to. I want to uh, congratulate you on the job you've done, not only last year, but the job you've done before that. Because I think it's great to see a coach not only tell players what to do, but show them, and that's that's to set you apart. Well, I appreciate it. That means a lot, and uh, I don't know any other way to do it. So that's what I'll keep doing. I'll keep coaching them and uh, and trying to teach them every every chance I get. That's great. Don't don't overlook J.K. Dobbins. <laughs> uh, we won't. I'll tell I'll tell I'll tell John Robinson. I say, hey, Ron wants us to take as many Buckeyes as we can get. Yeah, I'm really pleased with what you're doing, Mike. I'm really proud of you. Well, I appreciate your support and. Uh, you know, once we get back to work, man, you come down and see us at OTAs and, and come hang out for a day, okay? Well, we'd like to do that. Okay. Thanks for your support, Ron. Thanks a lot, Mike. Appreciate okay. the call. You got it, buddy. Tighten up.